Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to create a GPT that is specifically designed to write your novel specifically. So let's dive in a little bit and look into how we can do that. So I haven't done a lot of videos about the new GPTs that you can build in ChatGPT. And the reason for that has just been simply, I've been busy with my live streams over the course of the month of November, but November is over. So it's time to start talking more in depth on GPTs. And I will be doing a lot of videos on these in the future. To give you the basics, if you come over here to the top left corner, you'll see a section called Explore. It's also worth noting that this is only available in the ChatGPT Plus section, for so only for Plus subscribers. But you can come here and it gives you the option to create a GPT. You can look at recently used GPTs. And then you've got a bunch that were made by OpenAI. You can also load more. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. Lots of cool things. And we're not going to get into like all of the different GPTs that we could look at. But right now I want to walk you through the instructions of how to create your own GPT. So to create a GPT, you just come here and hit this button that says create a GPT. And there are a lot of different ways to do this. OpenAI makes it incredibly easy so that you can do something like just ask questions. Just say, I want a GPT that does this and it will ask you follow-up questions. You answer those follow-up questions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which can be a really good way to do it if you really don't know what you're doing with AI. It's a good way to start. But what that actually does is behind the scenes, it is creating your instructions and your name and your description here. So you can forego all of this in the create section and just go straight to configure and add your own instructions here about what you can do. There is a limit to how much you can put into these instructions. I think it's somewhere around 8,000 characters. I could be wrong. It did stop me at some point. And then you can also upload knowledge files, which are files that the AI will scan through in specific situations. So that's something that's useful to have. And then you can also give it some capabilities like the ability to browse the web if you want, or the ability to create images, which could be useful. And you can also add different actions here under add actions. But this is a more advanced thing where if you, if you wanted to interact with like outside apps and things like that. That's where you'd go and we are not going to need that. So for this one, we're gonna just call this Prose Writer and we'll add a brief description. This GPT writes prose based on provided story beats, okay? And we can give it an image if we wanted to. We can, in fact, let's use Dali to generate our image. It'll do that automatically here based on the name and the description. Okay, so over here you can see it made a little picture of a typewriter. I'm fine with that. Now we need to start entering in our uh, instructions. And so what we wanna do here, the basic idea behind a GPT is that we want a GPT to do a very specific function, okay? I don't wanna create a GPT that does everything from brainstorming to outlining to writing the prose. Like that would be too much to put into one GPT. We want a GPT, think of it like a robot in an assembly line that does one specific task. And it always does that specific task. And then you can create other GPTs to do the other tasks that you wanna do as well. And I will make videos about doing those as well. But I thought I would start with writing prose since that is, what a lot of people are interested in. Um, to create the instructions here, I am actually going to reference some of my old super prompts, which I have used in Claude before, because this is going to act very similarly to those super prompts. So what we can do is we can come here, here's an example of one of my super prompts. Uh, let's start with the instructions. Actually, I'll grab a different one because they're they improved a little bit over time. And I'm gonna put in these instructions exactly as I have them here, including these opening and closing tags, because I think that is going to help it a little bit. But we are gonna to have to modify the text here in the instructions. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can all see. Uh, using all of the information on chapter beats, so we don't want it to say this, we want it to say using chapter beats provided by the user as well as 
uh, by the user about the chapter and setting. And then we can get rid of this. Write, in this case, we have 1,500 paragraphs. If we did this in, in ChatGPT, it would say that's not feasible. So we're gonna say, write 800 words of a chapter. And then we can get rid of all of this. So I'm really just trimming this down significantly. I'll say use the style to determine the prose style of the output. Follow the provided chapter beats exactly. And then I'll add, we, we can get rid of a lot of this because a lot of this was in here to prompt Claude to respond. And GPT does a better job of following directions than Claude. But I will add this bit, end the scenes of the specified story beat rather than continuing further because I don't want it to continue. And then here is one of the reasons why I would recommend you create your own chat GPT or your own GPT for writing rather than using like this exact one that I'm building right now. Like I could publish this and make it public so anybody who has a link could find it and use it. But I would encourage you to tailor yours specifically to you. So for instance, here it says, the chapter should be in third person limited point of view, deep in Mina Harker's perspective, because this is the character that I'm writing in that particular chapter. And then in the third person past tense. So that's all stuff that we can add in there, include lots of realistic dialogue, deep point of view and show more than tell. This, and then we can get rid of this last little bit here. So those are the instructions, right? And it's tailored to me because I specify who the point of view person is and all of that. Next, we're gonna go back to the super prompt and select the style, which is all listed here. And I'm just gonna paste that in. I don't really need to go over this necessarily, but I've got like the genre here, a bunch of different things asking it to show and not tell or have good, like um, good dialogue, mixed cadence, all of those type of things. Uh, I ask it to avoid mushy, over the top, or melodramatic dialogue. If I wanted to, I could trim this down so it isn't taking up as much of my space, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then if you have room, you can start adding a few more things in there. For instance, I have my characters. So I could potentially take these characters and let's see if there's enough room. And yes, there does appear to be enough room. So I can put my characters in here as well. And that's really all I need to do, okay? Now let's, we might need to tweak this a little bit. We don't need to necessarily have a conversation, conversation starter because we're just going to start adding in the text exactly. But let's go ahead and test this thing. We can, for capabilities, we don't need it to browse the web, but Dolly image generation could be useful now and then, like say you want to visualize the scene that you just created. So I'm gonna leave that in there. We don't need in, anything in actions. So now we have this entire thing here ready to go. So we can hit save and I'm gonna publish this to only me and hit confirm. Now, if we want, we can actually test this. So for this, what we want to do now is go, I have a couple of chapter beats here. And so if we want to take the, say the first two, because I did ask ChatGPT to only produce about 800 words, which I would guess would actually in reality end up being more like 600 words. So I'm just going to take the first two here. I'm going to get rid of this little bit that I had in the super prompt that said hundred paragraphs. That was just a little trick I was using to try and get it to write more, but I don't think it's necessary here for a GPT and just paste them in. I don't have to put any instructions or anything. I just paste in the story beats and it immediately starts writing my prose. All right, this is pretty cool. Very, very cool how it's doing this. And it did a decent job for ChatGPT at least to write the prose here. It did go beyond the, the beats that I wanted it to do, but let's just say it was good and we say, okay, now continue with the next few beats. You can go ahead and just take the next two. Let's actually select three because it did a decent amount of words there. So let's just put in the next three and see if it can do those. And boom, it's writing the next ones. And so what this does is because it's attuned to a very specific task, it is now a lot easier for it to actually create the process, create the prose without really having to do any extra typing or 
instructions for every single chat that you do because you've just created this thing to be perfect. Now let's go back to the GPT itself. We go back to explore and from explore, we can go and edit the prose writer. Let's just say we have some edits that we want to make. Like it didn't do things right. You can easily come in here and make some edits. For instance, I forgot that ChatGPT really loves the word testament. So I'm going to add the word testament to my avoid the following words list, testament. And I'm going to add preternatural as well. Oops, spelled that wrong because I get that one a lot as well. And so now we can go ahead and test this again. I could just paste those beats that we just used, put them in here and boom, it's writing my prose. And let's see how many words it actually wrote because I asked it to do 800. If we copy that, go to word counter. So it wrote under four, 500 words. So yeah, I wouldn't do more than about two beats at a time, which is one of the limitations of ChatGPT as opposed to say Claude 2.0 is that you can't really get entire chapters all at once. You can only get a, you know, maybe two beats at a time. But this is a good way to go if you want to create your own GPT that is specifically geared for writing prose. I hope that was useful to you and I'll see you in the next video.